let's jump into some of the some of the graphics you have here. I want people to internalize and understand the incredible uh, tech you have built and what the implications okay. are, because okay, so uh, people need to see this to understand it and believe it, because it is. Um, it's as impactful as the as the mobile phone has been. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we started in labs like these and worked to develop different designs, modulating the phase of light and sound, and then came to build out these carts in about the year two, 2020 and get them in the hospitals. And we got really great results in sensitivity and specificity. We were able to so slow, slow it down. Slow it down here one second, because okay. what you are... what you, what you've been doing is uh, utilizing and miniaturizing um, ultrasound and lasers and and cameras right. to be able to impact right. things. Yeah. So I'll show more a little bit later. Like we've got <laughs> great results, and I can go about that. But so we've now shrunk these down. How big were How big were these things before? Because they're the size now of something like a headband, right? They were, and yeah. they the were size before of the room. The thing size blacked of room. out. Okay. That's what we started with in 2016, with the size of the room and manipulating the phase of light and sound so we could steer it wherever we wanted to in the body. We could interfere it to create wave structures, and we could resonate it to selectively affect different cells with different structures like an opera can affect that wine glass. So that was the premise to start the company using what I know about analog chip design, not the digital stuff that Intel does, but like using various voltages and frequencies and so this Magic. desktop image you have here is basically the breadboard, the proof of concept yeah. that the physics works. Yeah, these are big optical tables that float on nitrogen gas and allow you to do experiments where you can see the phase of light. Which and is if you had to point. say how much it got miniaturized in scale and price between 2016 and today, well, give me oh, some orders yeah. of magnitude. These are multi-million dollar systems. We went down to the carts, which were a hundred to five hundred thousand dollars, and then we went down. Hey, and we're now sorry to this size. So I have it with me. Like yeah. here is the console. Yes. That was the cart. Okay. That starts production next this month. And here's um, you know, the headset for it that comes in different sizes. We have a six pack of ultrasound for the abs. You mm -hmm. can 3D print whatever you want, strap it to any part of your body. We envision this going on the back of your knee to do both path pathogen deactivation and also senescent cell rejuvenation as well as um, amyloid microclot removal. We have some very good results in research for that right now. So there's that and I've shown you the box for our imaging system is this is the console for it. Mm -hmm. And so it's a it looks like a hundred X or a thousand X reduction in 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 volume. And the Cost, we're, we're selling these for 10K, but at volume, this goes to the cost of a smartphone. You can treat something for the cost of a phone call then. Wow. Which becomes really interesting as you think of cost structures. And there's no like shortages, which are really a huge problem also right now in, in medical.